Oh, applesauce. That sweet, tart taste takes me right back to my childhood. My mom used to can just quarts of this stuff. One of my favorite meals when I was a kid was to take some of my mom's homemade bread, slice it up, toast it, and then just slather it in peanut butter and honey. And then use all that toasty, peanut buttery, honey goodness as a spoon to dip out my mom's homemade applesauce and just chow down. And even now when I still eat it, it takes me right back to like when I was eight years old and eating that good homemade stuff. But hey, that's enough of that. This is One Seed, One World. Let's get into how you can make your own applesauce and can and preserve it. So the first thing you want to do is cut up and peel your apples. You can certainly do this with a paring knife and a vegetable peeler, but it's way easier if you've got one of these apple core peeler things. I'll have a link below on how to use that. It gives you these neat little slices that you can use. Once you get your batch put together, you can go ahead and fill up your pot, add some water here, maybe about a cup or a cup and a half of water, depending on the size of your batch, just enough to keep it from sticking and burning to the bottom, and kind of cook it down until it gets soft. Once it softens up, you can use an immersion, bl uh, immersion blender to get it all smooth. If you don't want it quite as smooth, you could use a potato masher here to get more of a chunky sauce. While your apples are cooking, go ahead and sterilize, or actually sanitize your jars in some simmering water for about 10 minutes or so. The only other ingredient that I add here is some cinnamon. Uh, in this batch, I used about a tablespoon and a half, but it's all to your personal taste. You could add some other spices too if you want to throw down, you know, throw in some ginger, some allspice, some cloves, whatever you want. Once you get that all stirred in, go ahead and start filling your sanitized jars. You'll probably want to use a funnel and fill them up to about a half inch of headspace. Once all of your jars are filled, take a like a wet paper towel and wipe down the rims and make sure there's no sticky stuff on there. And then you can start adding your lids. And then put your bands on. You just want to finger tighten, tighten them. They don't have to be super tight on there. Once all your lids are on, go ahead and add them to your water bath canner. And uh, then you will go ahead and let them um, come up to a rolling boil and let them run at a rolling boil for about 20 to 25 minutes. After they've done their water bath canning for the time period required, go ahead and take them out and let them cool on the counter. So that's about how easy it is to make your own applesauce and then can it and then it's shelf stable. You can keep it, uh, you know, on in your pantry or in your basement, wherever you st store your canning goods for uh, really up for a year or more, though they're good once they've been water bath canned. A couple of notes on the water bath canning. Um, now, if you are just making a batch of applesauce to put in the fridge, um, you don't have to do anything other than what I just showed you. If you are going to do the f full preserving where you want to make it shelf stable, it's normally good to add some lemon juice to your recipe. Now the original like ball canning uh, recipe books, the original editions actually up to like the 36th or 37th edition of the uh, ball canning for applesauce does not call for lemon juice. But, you know, things have changed over the years with the way that the uh, chemical makeup of apples and all that kind of thing, their pH balances and stuff can vary from all the different hybrids and, and brands that you have now. 
So just to be on the safe side so you don't get any of that botulism stuff, um, it's always good to add a little bit of lemon juice to your batch. Now in this batch that I just showed you, I think I added about a quarter cup or so to the whole batch of bottled lemon juice. Um, probably an easier way to do it and also to remove some of the tartness, tartness that the lemon juice can add in there when you're adding it by the quarter cup or half cup or whatever. Just put about two tablespoons per quart jar and then you're good. Uh, that will raise up your pH balance and give you enough acidity to make sure that you are canning from a safe perspective. Um, but if you are just making a batch of applesauce to eat right away or to put in the fridge and, and not worry about it being shelf stable, then you don't have to worry about adding lemon juice at all. So it uh, depends on your preference and, and what you're doing. So the great thing about canning your own applesauce is that one, it's, it's super easy and there is really only one or two ingredients. I mean, really you could do this straight with just apples. Um, what I recommend with when you're canning is to mix like two varieties. Uh, normally like a like a more tart variety and then like a sweet variety. It gives you a nice blend of flavor. In this particular batch I did Jonathan apples which are more tart and then uh, Rome apples which are more sweet. Um, but you can mix up Granny Smith, uh, I don't know, honey crisp. There's all different different varieties that you can add, but I always recommend blending at least two varieties of, of apples to kind of give you a nice blend of flavors. And then the last great thing about making your own applesauce is it's not going to have all the sugars and preservatives and whatever else the store-bought brands put in there. You know exactly what is going in your applesauce. You know where it came from. In most cases, uh, you're probably going to maybe get it from a local local farmer's market, so that your, your apples from the local farmer's market, so, you know, it's, it's coming locally. Um, but, you know, if you don't have a farmer's market in your area or a farm stand or something like that, it's fine to get some apples from the grocery store and just try some batches. You can do it in as large or as small amounts as you want. This batch here in this video was about a half bushel, and I have another half bushel still to do. Um, and it made about five, made five quarts from a half bushel. So to just give you a gauge on, on where I came out on that. So whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, I hope it has gone great. I hope you are having some good success this year in some canning and preserving. Maybe you're trying out some new things, some new recipes. And uh, stay tuned because I think I am going to, on a future video, going to be making some applesauce baked donuts out of some of this applesauce I just made and we'll see how that comes out. Just got myself a donut baking pan and so I want to try that out. So I'll see if I can't get a video up here in the next week or two on, on that for like part two of the applesauce deal. Anyway, I hope everything is going great for you and that we will see you again soon. So subscribe to our channel. Hope you're having a great day. Namaste.